Hi, it's Miriam Shaviv here from Brainstorm Digital. And this week we are looking at different emails sent out by aesthetic clinics and med spas all over the world to review them, see what they're doing really, really well, um, and also offering some insights into what they could be doing even better to connect to patients and to sell to them. So the first one we're gonna be looking at today is from 193 Whitecross Street, which is a British clinic. Um, and this email they sent out is about their weight loss, it's about weight loss and their weight loss program. So just before we critique it, let's take a look at what's actually in the email. Um, the subject line that we received it from with is some seriously good advice. There's a little logo here at the top. Um, and then they start off by asking people whether they have experienced any of the following um, during lockdown or post lockdown, a massive reduction in activity, comfort eating, too much alcohol, boredom. Um, they've asked, does any of this resonate with you? And then talk about how they, they talk a little bit about how difficult it is to keep on top of your weight. Um, and to, and of course, it's easier than losing it. Um, and then they offer a long list of, um, of different actions that people can take in order to manage their weight. That is the bulk of the email. Um, they end off with two calls to action, one over here. Um, and another one, another button under a second picture. So that is the structure of the email. Um, and let's talk first of all about what really works well in this email. Um, I think the first thing is the, is the idea, is the concept behind the email that they are offering really helpful, useful tips for people as opposed to just trying to say, hey, we have this weight loss program, um, click here to find out more. They're making it much more interesting than that, much more valuable to the readers um, so that people will continue to read even if they're not ready to buy then and there. They're really drawing people in, offering value, building relationships just by being helpful and useful to people. So I think that the whole concept behind this is fantastic and really lovely. Um, the other thing that really works here um, that I really like is the is the opening. I like the way that they are trying to draw people in by resonating with them, asking them, have you been through this situation? Is this something that you relate to? It becomes more emotional um, and it's a, it's a very, it's a very, it's a good way to open. Um, you have to be intriguing at the beginning of your email. Um, if I was doing this slightly differently, um, I think I might avoid bullet points here. Um, you know, death by bullet, um, bullet points are not always the most attractive way to connect people. What might work, you can take the same concept here, but you can make this work even better with a really strong story. So for example, you might have the story of, of a real patient who found themselves in this situation. Um, they realized that during lockdown, they were finding it, finding it really hard to manage their weight. Here's what's happened. Um, and then it becomes even more gripping and even more emotional. Um, if you don't have a patient like that, then, or someone whose story you can share easily, you can just paint a scenario. You can talk to people about, you know, it's the evening. Have you found yourself by the fridge yet again because you're bored? Um, are you finding yourself comfort eating? Um, you're so depressed by everything that's going on. You look down, you have the, 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 you're suddenly you're holding the chocolate bar. Um, you can paint something that's even more evocative um, by t actually telling a story and the opening becomes even more gripping. Um, so that's, that's what I, th those are the elements that I think that really work here. Um, in terms of what works a little less well, um, it's again, it's, it's an idea. It's the idea of how do you find this balance between nurturing people and being interesting to them and actually selling to them. And this is unusual because I think that this email errs too much on the side of not selling, which is usually the opposite problem of what you find in most aesthetic clinics emails. Um, so what do I mean by that? Um, when you look through the email, it doesn't say anywhere explicitly, we have a weight loss program that can help you, here is how. Um, and I think that that's a mistake because you, can, you can't rely on the fact that your readers know that, you can't rely on the fact that they remember your previous emails, that they have opened your previous emails, or they really know what you are offering. There may be many different people on your email list. You really have to be explicit about what you're offering. Um, and the more explicit you are, um, the more ch chance chances are that people will take action. Um, the clinic has basically tried to hint at it in a gentle way, 
Um, it says here, here are some tips some of the team at the clinic use to help us manage weight. But first of all, that line is hidden under this picture, which doesn't really need to be there. This is a very short email. It really interrupts the flow. Um, and actually, the first time that I read this email, I missed that line. So the connection here between the great advice that we're offering and the fact that we have a team at the clinic that, help, that can help you with this gets a little bit lost. Um, and then, of course, the second time that that, uh, that this connection, there's an attempt to make this connection is right at the end. Um, so it says, if there's anything we can help you with, don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, again, you have to be, when you want people to do something, you need to be really clear about what that thing is. So this is a weak call to action. Um, it says, if there's anything we can help you with, it's just too vague. You need to spell it out. Don't hesitate to get in touch. You just tell them, call us now. Hit, hit reply to this email. Click here. You have to be really, really explicit, clear instructions about what you want them to do to increase the chances that they will act on it. Now, there is another call to action in this email right here at the end. I could do with more help to lose weight. Um, so first of all, that button again is hidden under a picture. So this is a second case where the picture disturbs the flow and actually hides the most important line from the clinic's point of view um, in the entire email. And that's really a shame. And the second reason it's really a shame is because the wording on this button is fantastic. Um, I could do with more help to lose weight is actually a very strong call to action um, because they're putting the, the call, the, 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 the call to action in First of all, in the first person um, and in the language that someone who needs help to lose weight will really use. So actually, that's very strong wording. And the fact is that you have this green button over here, which contrasts very nicely um, with the red, if you are going to put it under the picture. Um, but it's just a shame that it's really hidden down here. Um, and so that the connection with what the clinic actually does is, is, is just too vague. Now, the second, um, the second thing that could be stronger about this email, it really goes to the same idea. Um, the bulk of the email is this list here of helpful advice, which in principle, I think is fantastic. But when you think about um, looking at this list, there are two issues with it. First of all, it's very overwhelming. There's a lot of pieces of advice here. And so I think that the point slightly gets lost because there's actually too much. Um, and really, you, you could focus on one or two of these and make an entire email out of it. Um, but the other problem with it, which is in a way more fundamental, is that um, you're offering so much good advice here, but people might get the impression that they can do this by themselves. By themselves, this is these are all things that people can do at home. Um, and so the clinic is kind of getting the impression, giving the impression that, yeah, we have all this good advice for you, but really you can take this advice and do it by yourself. Now, some people obviously can, but the clinic wants to speak to the people who actually are never going to implement this by themselves, may even realize that. Um, and you need to make the argument for, for taking all these different actions. Why do you need our help to do this? That is really what this email should be proving. And beyond the fact that we have this advice, it doesn't do that. So how might you take all this fantastic information and these excellent pieces of advice and use them in a better way to make the clinic's case that you need our help to lose weight? Well, you could take each point and turn it into an, a, a narrative or an argument. For example, download the My Fitness Pal app on your phone and complete your details. Um, keep an accurate food diary. Both these things are really about accountability. Um, they're really about people who want to lose weight being having to write it down, being accountable for what they're right for what they're eating. Um, so you could take those two points and say, turn it into an email saying, you know, in order to lose weight. You really need to be accountable to someone, whether it's writing it down or to, or, or, or to yourself, but that's very difficult to do by yourself. We will be in that process with you. We will help keep you accountable so you actually do this. Um, here's another example. Reflect on the situations when you overeat or snack. You can turn that um, into, uh, into an email about how you need to understand why you're overeating. It is really about emotions. It's really about understanding what your triggers are and working that out by yourself is really difficult, but we can help you do it. 
Um, and each one of these points needs to come back to, therefore you need our help and this is why. Um, so that's how you would take this excellent information um, and you could really turn it into a series of emails, each one of which proves that uh, and helps trigger people um, to come seek your help in a, in a, in a stronger way. Um, so I hope that was some useful insight about how to write great nurturing emails that sell as well. Um, if you would like your email to be featured on a, on a future edition um, of our email critique, then please just send it to me, miriam at brainstorm-digital.co.uk. Um, we help clinics write fantastic emails um, for their for their email data for their for their patient databases so that you can get your existing patients and contacts through your doors again and again and again. Looking forward to seeing you on tomorrow's edition. Take care.